when you are born, they give you a certificate of birth. Yeah, they want to make sure that you are born on such or such time, such day, month, and years. You have it, and then with that you can have a ID, ID, ID card, and all these are important. You need them, mm. but looking deeply, that moment when when you are born is not is not really the moment of your birth. That is a moment of continuation only. Before that, you already existed. And you stay in the womb with your mother at least eight, nine months. So something that is already there does not need to be born. So that day is not correct. That date uh, written down on your certificate is not correct. When some, something is already there, it does not need to be born. So you try to push back, push the date back onto the day of your conception. Your mother begins to conceive you, and that is closer to the truth, the birthday. But that is not uh, the truth either. Because before that, before that moment of conception, you, you, you are already there, half in your father and half in your mother. You see? And it's very hard for you to push further to the infin inf infinite. You have never been born. These moments, you think that uh, to be your birthday, they are only a continuation day. A continuation day. So uh, on our so-called birthday, instead of singing happy birthday, we can sing happy continuation day. <laughs> it's closer to the truth. Happy continuation day. The day of conception is also a continuation day. A day the day of, uh, of birth is also a day of continuation. And how about the other days? <laughs> <laughs> we have since spent already many days, 10 years, 30 years, 50 years, 80 years already. And how can we call these days? All of them are continuation days. And, uh, and we die, and we are reborn every day. Because our nature is uh, cine cinematographic, ever changing. It's, it, it looks like we die every moment and we are born every moment. And that can be, can be proved by science also. In this very moment, there are thousands and thousands of cells that are dying in our body. Scientists confirm that. When I scratch like this, uh, many cells fall down. They are dead cells of my body. And dead cells of my body allowed new cells to be born. Death is happening in every moment, every second. Thousands of thousands of cells are dying at this very moment. And we are so busy, we don't have the time to organize the funerals. <laughs> <laughs> and at the very moment when these cells die, there are new cells 
appearing. So birth is happening. And birth is happening because death is happening at the same time. Without death, birth is not possible. And without birth, death is not possible. Without the left, the right is not possible. Without the above, the below is not possible. That is the law. Interbeing. Sahabu Asraya. The ground of interbeing is very important. That is the truth. And many scientists have begun to see that that truth interbeing. On the appearance, it looks like uh, something is dying. Someone is dying. But looking, observing closely, you see the dying of a cloud is the birthing of a rain, of the rain, right? If the rain is not born, how can the cloud die? If you say, Rain, I forbid you to be born. And then there's no, there's no way that a cloud can die. It is because a rain can be born. The rain can be born, that is why a cloud can die. So if you ask why I am dying, and I can't, can only see death, because you have not looked, you are being born at the same time. Because dying is not possible without birth. You are being reborn. So a cloud should be able to see that she is uh, becoming the rain. And uh, Lavoisier is right, he said. Rien secret. Rien ne se perd. Tout se transforme. Nothing dies. Nothing is born. Nothing dies. Everything is changing, transforming. So transformation is the word. Transformation is the truth. Dying is not the truth. Being born is not the truth. And that is confirmed by the first law of thermodynamics. The conservation of matter and energy. And I think that the uh, Buddhist Institute of our time have to, uh, have to, uh, have to include in this schedule uh, uh, the studies of science, biology, physics, and so on. Because this uh, knowledge about science helps us understand the Dharma better.